making cornflakes today. They want to put your picture on their new cereal box. I set up a meeting at Time Magazine. They want to do a spread on you while we're here. Tell them to hold on that until we get back to L.A. and do it with O'Brady. Well, they don't want O'Brady. The story's on your emergencies, champion. It's on both of us if there's no story. Let these rope we work well together. Jonathan! Don't be late. Test tomorrow. Jonathan, the reports are that once O'Grady's better, he'll quit. Any comments? Athletes with O'Grady's talent don't quit. They retire. Jonathan, something the past few months that you've been carrying, O'Grady? Is it uh, his injury a blessing in disguise? What's that supposed to mean? What? It means that you uh, What the hell is that supposed to mean? You better get the hell out of here. Someone get him the hell out of here. O'Grady will be back. He's not going anywhere. You know what I'm drinking? Coke. My first one since third grade. Hey, I'm gonna be home tomorrow, Grady, with the trophy. And then we're gonna start working out. We're gonna be back next year together, okay? I've had long enough, John. I'm just glad I have someone to give it to. Hi. He sounds bad. Did anyone come to see him this week? Any cards? No. Uh, I'm gonna forget about the finals. I'm, I'm just gonna come home tonight. Jonathan, you can't. This is everything you've worked for. Well, what about O'Grady? I, I mean, without him, none of this would have happened anyway. I'm his only friend. I'll be right here with him. We'll watch you on TV. I miss you. Do you miss me? Jonathan's final, final shot, shot of the match. match. He has, he has to clear 31 feet. feet. He takes, takes a deep, deep breath. breath. Set. Aims. Thirty-two feet five inches, and Jonathan has just won the fifty-fifth annual Louisville final. Not since the great O'Grady has his sport been so dominated as it is now by the new United States champion, Jonathan.
fan sneaked into my hotel room. He told me I was his idol, showed me books full of stats and autographs and photos. He even had little bags of award-winning shots of mine from over the year. I suppose at any other time it would have seemed like a wonderful moment, but then I would have traded it all in just to see my friend O'Grady again.